Welcome back to the Traders Network Show and our continued coverage of the 2018 Greenwich Economic Forum. And I got a special guest, uh, Marcy Axelrod, uh, who wrote a book called On Your Game. Uh, the book is, I says it right here in the title, Succeed in a World Designed to Knock You Off Your Game. That's right. It's pretty yeah. prolific. That's right. Right now, what people tell me more and more and more is that they feel the world is working against them. Mm. And many people actually use this as an excuse mm. for their low achievement. In fact, the vast majority of people unfortunately feel that they achieve far less than they could. And that's one of the real reasons that I wrote this book. You know, offline, you were telling me a little bit about uh, the science that went into the, the content of the, the creation of this book. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, my goodness. Well, it started about 20 years ago when I was doing research for one of the big global high-tech firms, mm. they asked me to help make their sales force more efficient and effective. Mm. And once I started to interview these people, it became extremely clear that they really feel that they can all achieve more. And regardless of how much the company invested in resources and com communication tools and all sorts of, of things like that, people really felt that they were still leaving a lot of their own personal success mm. on the table. So I started doing my own research and surveys, mm -hmm. specifically focused on being on your game. And would you believe the average score of how on your game someone is on a scale of one to 10, right, with 10 being hot, is a six, mm. is a six. And it doesn't really matter who you are. You can be an award-winning physician or an entrepreneur or just a driver of an Uber, and it's a sin. You know, that's an interesting thing. I mean, we're in the media business, and you need to be switched on all the time. And, you know, so are there mechanisms here? And it makes us productive because we know we have to be on. You know, in the day-to-day -day, day -day work life, sometimes you don't have that thing constantly pushing you or the, this light's on, you need to be on your game. What are some of the tools or mechanisms in here that, that teach? Can you give us a little insight? Oh, absolutely, and I'll tell you. We all know how to achieve that, and we've been doing it since we, we were three-year-old in the sandbox and someone grabbed our shovel, right? Yes. We noticed it, we made a decision of what to do, and then we acted. Mm -hmm. Some of us screamed, some of us grabbed the shovel back, some of us just froze. Some of us wow. noticed another shovel on the side and just said, I'm gonna play with that one. Yeah. So notice, decide, act is an evolutionary process and it's what we've been doing. So I have tools like a what I call the game board, in the book that says notice, decide, act, and it has a, you know some instructions with it. The point is to bring an innate process that we've practiced mm -hmm. our whole life into the moment when we need it mm -hmm. so we can be mindful right then because what the 20 years of research shows, Matt, is that th so much in our lives, we just don't act. We just let those off-game impacts fester. So there, there's a section of this book that says the moment when we must make a change. Yes. Tell me about that section because it oh, popped out for me. Yes, no, this is an important part. So we all know what it's like when there's just something that's been pissing us off and challenging our success for a long time. Mm -hmm. And it just keeps hitting us every day because we're not making a change. Mm -hmm. We're not noticing, deciding, and acting. So there's some point where it's just, we've had it. We have to change. Right. And then often- It's a precipice. And often what you do is make a decision that's not right because you've let it go too far. So you scream, you deal with someone in a less than thoughtful way, you quit your job, who knows? But it's typically an explosive moment and then maybe it leads to regret, but it's just not thoughtful. We need to manage things sooner before they become extreme. I like that. Well, listen, we're out of time. We had to cut to commercial break, but all of you out there, if you want to know how to stay on your game, here it is right here. Do you want to you want to call it out? On your game, succeed in a world designed to knock you off your game. Uh, where can people find the book? Oh, they can find it on Amazon. There you go. And you've actually won a few awards. Yes, I was very humbled. Yes, the International Book Awards and the um, Indie Book Awards, yes, gave me finalist wow. prizes well, within a few months. Marcy, so. well, congratulations. I look forward to it. And I look forward to reading it. Yeah, thank Matt, you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, we're about out of time. Thanks so much for uh, for sticking sticking with us to the coverage. Uh, we still have one panel session left to go, but uh, and then we'll be wrapping up post remarks. You're watching the Traders Network and our continued coverage of the 2019 Greenwich Economic Forum. Special thanks to our affiliate partners ABC, NBC, Fox, and CBS. We'll be right back with the post remarks. The 2019 Greenwich Economic Forum is brought to you by Bridgewater Associates. Meaningful work meaningful relationships. Churchill Asset Management, Nuveen, 
a leading provider of senior and uni trench debt to middle market companies. Ropes and Gray, bright past, brilliant future. Aurora Capital, inspiring partnerships. And Gramercy Funds Management, we are emerging markets. Special considerations to Bank of America, life's better when we are connected. NOAA Private Wealth Management, a leading wealth and asset management service provider in China. Gotai Jinan Futures, a leading brokerage firm for commodity futures and financial futures in China. China Industrial Securities, a comprehensive financial group providing full-spectrum financial services in Hong Kong. And Titan Advisors, built like a hedge fund. Special thanks to the Financial Times and Greenwich Business Institute for hosting us. And thank you to all the sponsors who helped make this event possible. We'll be right back after these messages. Don't go away.